I knew they would move eventually. They all held their breaths, and then they, uh, in unison, started uh, clapping and applauding and ringing that bell. Uh, and more good news, more big numbers, more, well, not as big as yesterday, certainly, but Jeff Yastin, editor of Newsmax's Financial Intelligence uh, Report Letter. New, uh, I'm sorry, Newsmax. Newsmax's Financial Intelligence Report Newsletter joins us with the Daily Closing Bell Report. It's a mouthful, Jeff. I'm sorry. Um, I know. We'll have to work on shortening the name of the newsletter. <laughs> How do you fit it all on your business card is what I don't understand. Uh, okay, only kidding. Uh, so we had uh, some record numbers today. Yeah, we did. We had the, uh, the, the S&P and the NASDAQ both hit uh, new uh, all-time highs. The NASDAQ hitting a number that it hasn't seen since March of 2000 which shows you, of course, how gigantic that bubble was way back in the day. So the Dow finished up 20 points, and NASDAQ gained about 20 points, and the S&P finished up five. All in all, it's the, the rope-a-dope market like you and I have been <laughs> discussing, and it just keeps floating higher no matter what else uh, is thrown at it. Quick, somebody get Muhammad Ali and George Foreman. <laughs> um, all right, so let, let, let's talk a little bit about some of the uh, economic news that might have contributed to this. I don't know, but new home sales down. Now, we found that about uh, existing home sales the other day, which were up. Now we have new home sales down over over 11 percent. I know it, it, it's one of these uh, pieces of data. And I was reading material from forecasting ec uh, economists who likewise were scratching their head on this one for what you just said. Existing homes, I believe that was yesterday we discussed that. A great number. And here it is. New homes come out and the data comes out and it's down 11.4 percent how can that be and it you know you fall back on well maybe the weather is somehow affects new home sales in a different way than it does for existing home sales since one's about signing contracts and the other one's about closing you know on a on a mortgage so that part it remains to be seen whether or not it's actually a big deal or perhaps not yeah okay also um uh, Reuters uh, had a report today which raises some questions about what might happen to, uh, to mutual bond mutual funds if and when the Fed raises interest rates and yeah, whether or not the market is equipped to, uh, that sector of the market is equipped to handle it. That's true. The, the Fed has, has, has been out there uh, trying to warn, basically, the financial industry. We've had three Fed governors in the last couple of months come out and say, you know, there may be, if there's the right set of circumstances, a run on bond funds where people are trying to get their money out. But a lot of these bonds that these bond funds own, and it's in the billions and billions, you know, those the bonds are not the most liquid of instruments. And trying to get those sold the same day that somebody comes in and says, I want my you know, $2 million uh, piece of the bond fund liquidated and the cash sent to me, there may be real trouble if and when that comes down the line as the Fed at some point raises interest rates. And of course, uh, next week we'll get the jobs numbers for the month of I got to, April, because next week uh, we'll turn into May. Um, if I'm not mistaken, on Friday we'll right. get them. And uh, that might go a long way towards uh, determining or helping to determine uh, what the Fed actually does. Jeff, always good to talk to you. See you tomorrow. Thanks, Steve. All right, folks. And don't forget, as always, you can find out more on the financial news by going to Newsmax.com and clicking on the finance button at the very top of the page. Up next, it's Gimme Five. Don't go away.